Okay, and we're back, and it looks like the m knife round is about to start. So we'll have to get a suitably um, badass angle for this one. Sister Fist just pick up the first round, knife round, and they've opted to switch to CT, so we'll see how good their CT half is on Mirage. As you can see from the top of the screen, we're in our third and deciding match. It's our second match in a row that's gone to three maps. And this map does decide who gets to go to the Belfast land in February. And they're ready to go, so... So starts... Very important game coming up for these guys. Let's see what plus one have in store for us on the first round. It looks like they're going to go towards middle. Going along short. X picks one up, Napshi picks one up also. Oh, Duffer gets wrecked trying to trying to jump up and it looks like Dev Beast gets taken down by X-22 as well. He gets a triple on the round and a strong round. Oh, the bot that's fucked up again. E-bot. I'm raging. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be okay. Two scouts on Sister Fisters for this round. Submachine gun UMP looking to uh, make some money, and it's a straight out eco from plus one. The information Tobin's picked up there, they've got to be sure that it's a, an A rush now. X22 with another frag, Tobin with one, Ballard with one. Dev Beast manages to get a consolation frag, but he gets taken down by Napchi. So no bomb plant again. Low money still for the terrorists, and they're gonna just go for a pistol bite. Round is just getting mopped up by Sister Fisters here. Dead weight again gets one frag, but that's nothing. It's only two frags so far in the opening three rounds for plus one. But now is the first round we get to see what they have, to, what they can do. Dev G is on the uh, on the up. Three moving quick towards B. Or towards underpass. Tobin picks up the first. 
He gets right out of there. Tobin could just see the side of him there and DevJ with his 6k investment for no reason. Could push up the middle from X22 and they're giving them no respect this time. Yaffa gets the traditional one frag on the CTs. And that's all they can manage. So three frags in four rounds. We're opening the opening the uh, action with a frag on Tobin down middle. Ballard with a double, straight down the connector, followed up by X22, and it looks like it could just be the one frag again for the CTs or again against the CTs. Dev Beast gonna try his best to pick one more up, but he doesn't and. Bit of a disaster there. Still only one frag taken off them. Ebot misreporting the score. So smoke's going in this time. Maybe they're, they're at least trying something plus one. But they are so slow, they're being held off well by the CTs. They managed to break their uh, record and get two frags on the round. Napji picks up dead weight. Yaffa wanted to kill him, but he couldn't. He was straight in front of, and there's down to a 1v2. But Yaffa's been spotted out by Bedazzle. And dropped, and that's 6 0. Sister Fisters are showing why they. considered the favourites at the start of this. Looking to uh, release some tensions I guess after uh, they lost that one in uh, a convincing fashion towards the end. Bit of a fall apart. Two opening frags. From plus one and they get the third and the fourth. So it looks like they could be getting their first win of this map. Three of them very low. Toby misses the first shot. Goes back in for a second. Misses that also. But he's just gonna back off and save that up. Plenty of money on the CT side anyway. But good to see plus one getting into this. This could come down to the wire like last night, down to a 15-15 overtime. If we do end up in overtime, it's uh, MR3, $10,000 start money. And they're haunting him, which they didn't do in the last round. And they've managed to get that AWP away from him, and that's really good. That's another 4,700 that the CTs need to invest if they want to actually get that back now. So now we're back with my co-commentator. I think. Hey, how's it going? I was commentating the game, but I must have muted my mumble. 
so you couldn't hear me, but at least it was coming through on the stream, so it's good. Was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. So it nice. takes everything. No, yours wasn't, no. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. But it looks like plus one are gonna get reset after winning that first round. They got last round. What sort of things were you saying that I didn't uh, pick up? Not a great deal. I was happy with plus one in the last round, they went forward and they just started getting a couple opening picks and they didn't wait too long, they just decided to collapse on A and they uh, just went with it. I was saying like, this is probably a pretty common map for uh, both teams to play, so I'd say the advantage was the sisters, sisters, but seemed to be proving me right. Yeah, big grenade frag from uh, Yaffa there. Going boring again. Yep, they're gonna save theirs two guns if they can. What's the money like? Yeah, they can buy again. Yeah, they'll be able to buy again, but it goes to 7 1. Sister Fistress, as Ebot misreports the score. So 7 1. Basically a full buy for both teams. Fast day, Double up setup for uh, Fisters. That Molotov is tearing apart people in there. Managed to get out onto the site though. Bedazzle is finally getting the call to rotate. I don't have a lot of HP to play with here. Duffer the only man with a bit of it. Molotov comes in, just too late. And that's a relatively straightforward clean up from the sisters there. Only losing one man. Sister, sister! Tech 9, rush B. Tobin getting the early information up in the middle and he knows there's nothing there. Gonna run into world of Napchi gets one, two, three, can he switch over and get the fourth? Get he does get the fourth. But yeah, on half HP now. They really didn't do anything there except for uh, just walk slowly out. Slow, slow pace. No flash, nothing. They weren't helped by the fact that uh, Tobin had getting such great information up the middle at the start. I think they're playing as if they were pissed off that they lost that map and they're showing what they can really do now. But as we know, it's not over to the fat lady sings as last map. Who knows what could happen? Exactly, you never know how good their CT half could be. This is a CT favorite map. Big push from Tobin. Doesn't get anyone peeking. Oh, we have to get a lovely pick there. Ballard uh, picking up. Two Yaffa and I am deaf returning kind of to get the Down to a 2v2 here. Nap just shoot on the fucking rotate from B. And they really don't know he's going there he's there at all. No, he's gonna hit. Oh bad timer from Yaffa just turned away at the wrong moment. Still doable for Def though. If he can get the first frag, they don't know where he is. Oh, Napji checks it, but he doesn't get it. And Bedazzle manages to get the frag on def and pick up the defuse. They get 10 1. What's the money situation like? It's not too bad for Terrace, they'll be able to afford another round. Scoreboard makes for 
pretty sad reading at the moment. For plus one. Plus one. It's a bit of a white wash here at the moment, isn't it? Bedazzle only on two frags still. He just hasn't had a chance. They're gonna need to pick up at least three more frags to have a chance of one of us. It's like frag, peak, frag, peak. They're only peaking when he was reloading. Headless chickens here. Peace. This 10 1 lead is affording them the luxury of, you know, they're able to push with confidence. Snapches all the way up the TV room. I know it's not going to be me now. Very indecisive um, thing. Well, they've got two picks back. But you see, they're able to get the picks, so I don't know why they're not, you know, trying to force the issue slightly. They're just yeah, yeah. they're just been negative. I think the only picks they're getting are when um, the CTs are getting a bit over aggressive and getting caught. But Tobin should they're be able right. to pick one up here. Right. He walks right into it. He gets headshotted though. He's gonna go back in for another peek. He saw him there. He gets dropped. Dead weight in a 1v2, but he doesn't have time to get the bomb down. Although he may have time. No, not now. Oh, he could have gone for that. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. He should have gone for that with 10, 15 seconds left. He had loads of time to get the bomb down. How is oh he was nearly oh, shot. Oh, we nearly got banged. And how is that reporting 14-1? It's 11-1. That does my head in. GG Bob. Dev Beast is upset. Oh, he's calling bullshit. Three frags from Ballard with the Scar 20. Tobin about to pick up another one. Gonna be good night, Vienna here. Win. Bit of a one sided hammering here on this map. I was expecting a bit more from plus one after their last fight back. Bit of the accusation going on here, I doubt. Yep. I can see that in the game. We're all growing ups here. X22 dropping Doofer at middle again. You don't like to see any kind of accusations floating around. No, none at all. Very unprofessional. Correct. But this, uh, watching the, this Harris play is so frustrating. This saw. Oh, boring and laborious. Oh. It's just. It's like a warm up. It's not even a warm up. Camping. Don't think they got the. Tobin's trying to practice his sweet jumps. sweet jumps. He gets it third time lucky. Oh my god. I didn't see that one happen. That wall bang. Just as he sort of walked into the um, kitchen, he got shot through the wall. That is a bit dodgy. The timing. I'm gonna have to call hacker myself. You're better than that, Paul. Terrence getting no change of middle here at all. Naptu does get picked up though. Napture seems to just seem to be floating around. V1 when it's pushing middle today. Kind of do whatever he wants at this stage. They've so yeah. many rounds to work with. Rock a microphone. That's a huge grenade onto Ballard, but he picks somebody up with the uh, scar. Yaffa finally drops X22 with Badazzle comes in. He gets dropped himself, so we're down to a 1v1. Ballard knows where he is. But Deadweight's a way to be. HP's here.
And could plus one manage to pick up the second round? It's gonna get the bump down easy here. She just dilly dallying again. Could have had that down five seconds ago. Going back Ballard here. Dead. Oh. Lovely shot from Deadweight. They picked up to 13 2. Still can't see Very strong game. half from Sister Fisters. I think we got halfway to Israel there, but the flight has been cancelled. I thought you were going to say flight has been hijacked, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it, that, that's a discussion for another day. I'd be incredibly impressed if plus one even managed to get as high as five rounds in this. I just don't think they have it. I think they're straight up B rush now for Fisters. When the when the accusations start flying, you've basically lost oh. your morale. Come on, the B rush. No more messing. Gonna be a four men towards A, one towards middle. This is gonna be one connect, likely. And they're gonna be dropping smokes on A. No, they're not. I thought they were setting up for smokes, but they don't even have smokes. But here comes the big rush onto A. Deadweight just getting overrun there. An X22 in the middle on the flank with the burst shot. It's all down to Yaffa, he picks up the first headshot. Let's see how many one taps he can do. Oh, he gets shot in the face and that's all she wrote. You got goosh there. 14-2. All the money. An ultimate round. Full force. From uh, yeah, plus one. The big Nova here. Gonna have to spectate Nova. Yaffa and see what he's got with this Nova. Jumping shotty. He needs to push right down that corridor for me. You're very far away from the mic there. Oh, I'm back in the room, back in the room. Ah, okay. Everything going down on the other side, gonna have to switch cameras. I am deaf, picked up a kill and connect there, bomb going down there, bomb set default. I am deaf dead. Let's see what Yaf has got. And he gets dropped, and now we're on team two. Match, Match point. point. Oh Ebot already reporting the score. I think Ebot knows something. We don't. Just predicting the final score there. Napchi gets the first frag, second yeah, frag goes down. Oh, Deadweight replying. Deadweight drops one, but it looks like it's down two. He's Dev real. beast, the last real. man, and here it comes Dead. the last frag, and it's 16 2 and an absolute beatdown in the final game. GG to the boys, thanks for coming, and congratulations to the sisters, and they'll be heading to LAN in February. Just want to thank uh, my co-caster co here, Paul, absolute legendary analysis as usual, and uh, hope to see you again in future streams. Okay, so um, that's it for tonight, so hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll get back to you on the Facebook and the Twitter at OneTapLand.